Your lofting is pretty amazing, especially considering everything that the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell Father what happened. Oh, by the way, welcome back to Squatless Momo with more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Well, well, if it isn't Momo. Word around the plaza as you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. Because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment? You are- you're almost a man and yet still can't seem to go anywhere without Zola. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, ha. Huh. And I don't think we haven't no and don't think we haven't noticed the smug lo looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. Huh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Grace has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and a ruff about her. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that cell cloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that cell cloth. Zelda's cell clock will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gross. Psst, gross. Behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see? I'm in the middle of... <laughs> Ugh. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> I, uh, nothing big really, just, just... Momo, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later Zelda, look for me during the race, I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Hey, Groose! Wait up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that of happening are about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Momo. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. Yep! That's the spirit, Momo. Trust me, you can win this. Hey! The wing ceremony will now begin. Practicing, s participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Momo. Funfair! Ah! I wonder what they're using for the, the smoke. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Momo, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who, will then, who I will then release into the skies. On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. 
Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with the down button once you dive off the ledge. Whoever catches a bird and claims a statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules, simple enough, I should think, but do you need to hear them again? Nope. Excellent. Well, as you know, today's champ champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess this in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role has the of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> The lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. Alright, gentlemen. Line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Alright, let's get this going. As I was saying before, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We are racing to get that bird statuette before anybody else does. And as promised, that's Groose in the front. Hey! He just pushed me! You know this is my day to get all the glory. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with egg in your on your face. I'm doing all of the dangerous stunts, screws. There! I got it! Yay! <laughs> I did all of the dangerous stuff. I had people throwing stuff at me. Momo! heart attack. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great flying, Momo. Congratulations. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Yes, I know my voices are a bit different, but that's gonna happen because I can't keep them straight in my head. <laughs> Momo, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Okay.
great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people. Grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk, in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft to sail, which I now pass on to you. Seriously? He instantly gets up and goes, I got it! Now you can jump from any height without fear of painful landing. It smells nice, too. Momo, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know that they s say that the goddess gave the cell cloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the cell cloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Momo. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Momo. <laughs> I'd even have to practice. Now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Um, uh oh. And just what are you thinking? Don't be silly, this is your big moment, Momo. Really? We just started this game. <laughs> you have to jump off the statue! Look down! See that big round design in the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here, right before you hit the ground, press B to open up your cell cloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your cell cloth. So ready to jump? <laughs> nope. I guess I'm ready now. was major last second. <laughs> that was perfect! You're amazing, Momo! Ooh. You know, Momo, seeing as you won today, and with the weather being so nice. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Sure. <laughs> Momo? Hey, Momo. Today was amazing! Watching you win the race and perform in the ritual together? I'll always remember this! It really was a... Well, uh, wonderful! <laughs> oh, she's giving the eyes. You know, Momo... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What? What is that? What's going on? I guess I'm not going anywhere. Mm. 
Maman. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Momo. really is ugly. Ah, you're awake. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But Momo, where is Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Well, you see, there was this big, giant tornado that just kind of came out of nowhere, and it just like swallowed her whole. So, uh, yeah, your 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 daughter's gone. A black tornado, you see. Hmm, that was no ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself, you're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Well, you see, she's been hearing these voices in her head. I think she's gone kind of crazy. And then this thing happened. I see. She was talking about the surface then. Yes, what of it? And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. How do you know about my dreams? Do I talk in my sleep? I must talk in my sleep. I'm sorry, I was lost in the thought that for a moment... It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but not so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark night. It would also be very, very dangerous. Rest now, Momo. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. No thanks to you. I did my best to her. Yeah, I tried grabbing, going after her, but... I got flung away. Oh, that's fun. Now I'm hearing voices. Here I come! Hello? Haven't we met before? Don't run away. Sparklies. Did you know that this was down here? I didn't. Oh, it's one of those kitties. Such a good kitty. Okay, demon kitty. Pick you up. Dead. 
I don't know why I'm taking it with me. Oh, that's not nice. So you can fly? I want nothing to do with that. I get it. You're out in the clouds? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that looks slightly like that cat with its ears out and all that. Or cat thingy. I don't even know what it is. I will take that. Thank you. Soothing music. <laughs> Lots of birds on the walls. My next story to the will be how the, the 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 magic archway underneath the statue of the goddess suddenly glowed and then disappeared like magic. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Thai is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long ago for the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Momo. You must take up this sword. As the chosen one by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. What did you say? To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Yes, and? <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one, fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you. Set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <coughs> Not so fast! It seems 
that persuasive further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. I feel like a Vulcan. Try like I feel like with Phi I'm trying to imitate a a Vulcan. <laughs> Oh, oh, robotic like. Aha! I caught you! Ah! Oh, wait. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in t divine light. Recognition complete. Master. Mo Mo. My master. Mo Mo. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wait from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall receive himself, reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've kept secret all these years. It began began to give off a faint otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things. Here, alone with the sword, there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The world words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes, the oral tradition, one of the last reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical section of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses the un an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> Some of father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite, reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Momo. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This is... This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. 
faster. The first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are a form of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. that in his back pocket. Master Momo, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside in your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press the down button to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Momo, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text com is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this Fi says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Momo. Especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but is, is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends are true. Okay! Sounds like fun. You do your people proud, Momo. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? I have a great journey. You have a very great journey before you, Momo. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that would prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better... I didn't read the rest of that before going on. Whoops. Basically, I think it's saying you better get ready. Be prepared. Well, that's all I've got for this episode. So if you liked it, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button for more content and other games. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!